We're the oldest family-owned restaurant in the United States. But that's not the end of the story, that's just the beginning. My name is Rick Blunt, and I'm the CEO of Antoine's Restaurant in New Orleans. The restaurant is named after my great-great-grandfather, Antoine Alcitour, who was this classically trained French chef who set the style that's still alive at Antoine's today, even 176 years later. My mom's belovedly known at Antoine's as the Grand Dame. She's the torchbearer of what Antoine's needs to stand for. I am the great-granddaughter of Antoine, fourth generation. We've been here a long, long time through World Wars, the Depression, Prohibition. We had never closed. People come here, they want to have the same meal that they had 40 years ago, and we produce them just as they were then. One of the pieces that makes Antoine so special is its long-term look at the world and long-term look at ourselves. Our mission is to remain the bastion for classic Creole cuisine. There's a tremendous amount of attention to detail that happens in each and every one of the dishes. We have many multi-generational employees who in many cases have taken their jobs from their parents. Your grandfather's waiter, his son now serves you. I think that the leaders of Antoine's have been drafted for several generations, and that's exactly how I got here. We were in a board meeting, heatedly discussing the very, very different needs, wants, and desires of a family. Someone said, if you know so much, how come you're not running it? And I just said, because nobody ever asked. And they said, okay, well, we're asking, and that's how I got my job. We have 130 employees every day, and just taking over this restaurant, that's like taking over a small city. The entire landscape of New Orleans changed in Hurricane Katrina. There, there was so much devastation. The vast majority of the city had become flooded and unusable. The campus sustained about $16 million worth of damage. There was tremendous talk at the time of what would emerge out of the ashes. Being the designated CEO of a restaurant was quite meaningless, except for one thing. We employed a lot of people. Getting those families that are part of my family back to work was so important that none of the other decisions really seemed to matter. The 82nd Airborne was sent to New Orleans and they had one little checkpoint. The soldiers who were there looked at me quite honestly and said, sir, essential personnel only. So I thought about that for a little while and said, you know, my brother-in-law works for Bell South and I bet you I can go get some Bell South uniforms and become essential personnel and get back in. So that's what I did. I went to, I went to my brother-in-law's house, borrowed uniforms that were incredibly too small for me, and put them on, and we got across, pretending to be telephone repairmen. He amazingly came through it all beautifully. I don't think anybody could have done a better job. And I'm very, very proud of him. We got back open for December 31st, and that allowed the pieces of normalcy in life that the families who work here needed. It also gave a little piece of normalcy to our customers too, because they could at least have a little bite of what New Orleans is. Antoine's is now five generations old. If it's gonna make it to the sixth and seventh generation, it needs to be a part of younger people's lives. We opened the Hermes Bar at Antoine's for that purpose. And for us, it's really worked. Mom has a bad habit of making my employees bring her a kettle of one martini. And I've tried to fight it for years, but she always wins, so I, I quit fighting it now. I think that we get better all the time. I think that some of the best meals that we'll ever serve are yet to come.